uh, like if your kids tell you they're going to become YouTubers, an influencer, <laughs> an influencer economy, how, how would you respond or support them? No, I mean, it, I think uh, even listening to that point, I think that the, the, I think the importance of having a parent or a guardian being able to, I think, stand outside of that ecosystem and be able to still advise and instruct and teach a bit. Because, you know, I think if left on its own, you would let your kid's education be completely dominated by the Facebook recommendation engine mm -hmm. or the YouTube mm -hmm. recommendation mm -hmm. engine. And the deeper you go into a certain opinion or certain side of a uh, of, of any political debate, mm -hmm. any argument, mm -hmm. um, it, it's just going to keep recommending more videos. It's It's not within its algorithm to recommend a completely different video that you're not going to like that right. perspective, that mm -hmm. opinion. Uh, so I think that there always still somehow needs to be this integration of something outside of the system, outside of that entire ecosystem of recommendation engines to be able to try to shift this, this uh, so the perspectives aren't so polarized. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then I, yeah, the, this whole, uh, I think this, this job of being a YouTuber is a very, it was, it was a new thing. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And the, the um, well, thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the monetization to be able to do it, I think it's, a, um, I think it's really interesting in that it's um, in the, in a positive light is that it's, it's, it allows and it encourages uh, everyone of all ages, but especially kids, if they have a certain interest and if they have certain passions that they develop, I think at least there's an outlet for mm -hmm. it now uh, mm -hmm. that it's not automatically if there was prior to um, prior to YouTube, if there wasn't a a very observable, notable job that you could take doing this as a full-time mm -hmm. employment, there would be a lot of discouragement from from pursuing mm -hmm. this. But at least with YouTube, the you're going to always be able to find other people from all over the world that's going to be connected, that's going to share and going to, you know, thumbs up these, mm -hmm. these videos that you create. So I think in one light, um, mm -hmm. or from one perspective, I think that that's great that that creates the sort of positive note mm -hmm. on things. Um, mm -hmm. So you tell your kids, that's great. And <laughs> <laughs> on the other hand, <laughs> uh, a lot more exciting to be, I think, doing what daddy did, uh, create the, go create the platform, <laughs> try to see what's going to be maybe, I don't know what that solution is, but what is next after YouTube mm. or what is, I think, uh, I think there's still something to be said about, um, you know, like spend that creativity to think like where else is mm. the, you know, what is the next generation of how we're going to be, you know, sharing and expose, uh, exploring and learning mm -hmm. new things. They're just how are we going to embody content in the next generation mm -hmm. and somehow build that and let other mm -hmm. people create that content. I just think more about the future, not just the present <laughs> <laughs> or how the code defines the present. Then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great view. Hi, I'm Audrey Tong. Please subscribe if you like our show. See you on Taiwan Plus.